If you spend most of your time in a wheelchair or in a chair, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how you can progress your basic standing skills through the use of day-to-day -day activities. So let's get started. First, we need to talk about safety. If you don't feel safe doing any of the following activities alone, then be sure to ask someone to stay beside you as you do them until you feel more stronger, more confident, and safe in doing these. So to begin, if you're working on basic standing from your wheelchair, what you wanna do is get the wheelchair up to a sink. And the, the reason I say a sink because you can get a good grasp of the ledge there and that way you won't fall forward and you'll have the wheelchair locked behind you in case your legs kind of give out then you'll have a safe place to land. So you want to get your knees close to the counter, your feet under your knees if not back a little further with your unaffected grab the lip of the counter, come up nose over toes as the saying goes put your weight through your unaffected leg and bring yourself up and if you can get that affected arm over on the counter that will help balance you out now once you're standing you can go ahead and if you have to just lean into the counter to support your belly and the nice thing about the counter, if that leg gives way, if you're not going anywhere. As you build a little more endurance and feel safer, then you can come back from the counter a little bit. If you put a little bend in those legs, then you're not going to hyperextend either. So just do a little bend in the legs and try as you're able to come back and stand steady. Once you're up, either here or here, try and bring your head up, either look out the window. If you have a window, look in the mirror, try and get both sides equal. And once you feel comfortable standing, then let's add a little activity. And you can use, if you can try to use that affected hand to either place it on the counter or the sink, you can use it for support. And or if you need to, you can maybe stretch it out and put some weight through there. And at the same time, you want to try to distribute your weight a little more evenly between right and left as well. As you gain confidence, then you can take your unaffected hand and begin doing things in front of you. Maybe it's brushing your teeth. At the sink, it may be uh, rinsing some dishes off. As you gain a little more comfort in your standing balance, then you can begin reaching out in front of you, reaching for the toothpaste, reaching for the soap, reaching for the dishes. Once you become more comfortable with that, then you begin crossing over the body. And as you do that, you're adding more weight into your affected side. So make sure you feel comfortable and secure before you cross over. And again, in the bathroom, it may be putting your toothbrush and toothpaste on the opposite side. Or if you're at the kitchen, you can do your dishes on one side and then put them across the body on the other side um, to, to dry. So start out at front when you're comfortable, reach forward as you gain more, cross over the body. And it's, it's a progression. As you need to sit, sit down, and it's something you work your way up to over time. Once you're at the point where you're able to cross over your body, you're away from the counter and you feel pretty good, then you can progress with two-handed activities, um, like putting the dishes away. Or it may be 
actually unloading the dishwasher, holding yourself up with one hand, reaching down, getting from the dishwasher and putting up with the other hand. Or in the case of being at the bathroom sink, it may be combing your hair, or trying to wash your hair, or helping that affected arm brush your hair. As you progress in your balance, you can pull your chair, wheelchair up to a table. Get your feet underneath your knees, lean forward, use the arms, get yourself up, come to the table if you have to and bring yourself up. Keep the chair behind you and you have the table in front of you. That way you can then maybe fold some clothes and you know use that affected arm as you can but you can do it right on the table and the table will serve as your support now as you feel more comfortable with that right now i'm leaning on the table as you feel more comfortable maybe take a step back from the table and continue to fold your clothes on the, using the table for uh a folding table and make it a little bit easier. As you gain more confidence with that, you can even step back, I don't know, maybe a foot from the table, keeping that chair behind you in case you need to go down and go ahead and try folding your clothes that way. So you do what you feel safe and comfortable doing. And like I said, the Big thing is, is if you don't feel secure, go back to like by the sink or have someone be by your side because we don't want you falling. To advance with the next activity, uh, we're gonna hang clothes in the closet. And at this point, you can have the chair behind you and or you can have a walker in front of you. So you can use that for support as needed. And I would recommend starting out using your unaffected side to go toward the closet so you're a little more stable. As you feel more comfortable and confident, again, with the walker in front of you, I would put the affected side toward the closet. That way you'll be putting more weight through that affected leg. Again, keep that walker near you and chair behind you in case you lose your balance. But so who would have thought something as simple as hanging up your clothes would be such good therapy? Now, as your balance improves, your strength improves, your confidence improves and your safety improves, then you can do more and more complex activities. And one thing you can do when you're ready for it is to take your cane or your walker and begin very consciously stepping over objects. Let me show you. I have a dog and she has toys all over. So this is just an example of how to take daily obstacles and turn them into therapy. So hopefully this video got you thinking about how your daily activities can be used and included in your therapy. And also the importance of, you know, progressing as you feel comfortable and confident and stronger, just pro uh, progress to the next step. So hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helps, and until next time.